All of the parts used during this video are available at groupvertical.com. Don't forget to use coupon code YT8-1 to receive 8% off your first purchase. To start the iPad 2 teardown, you're going to want to use a heating gun to loosen up the adhesives. Also, a hair dryer will work, but this will take much more time. Once you get the adhesive loosened, we are going to use a iSclack, which is a prying tool. You're going to attach it to the screen and then pry up and it should open it right up. This will make prying up the screen a lot easier, especially in the corners. If you are repairing a iPad 2 with a broken screen, it's a good idea to put some type of screen protector over top to avoid all the screen particles getting on the LCD and into your fingers. As you begin to pry up the digitizer screen, make sure to put some sort of prior to hold the screen up so the adhesive doesn't reform to the frame, like a guitar pick, a credit card, basically anything you can get your hands on. As you make your way around, you may find that the bezel frame starts to come out. This is alright because it will most likely have to be repaired or replaced either way. We are using a pry tool, it's an iSesimo, and it is universal, it's, it bends, it's metal, so it doesn't break like a lot of the plastic pry tools do. As you make your way around the screen, you may have to reheat the adhesive to loosen it up. If you're pushing really hard, you'll want to do this so that it makes it a lot easier to pry up.
Once you get all the adhesive loosened, you will want to lift the screen up from the side. This is because there is a cable attached and you can go ahead and lay it down. And then we're gonna to begin to remove the remaining adhesive around the frame. If your screen was cracked for this repair, you may find that you have some shards of glass on the LCD. You will want to carefully remove this either with tweezers or a can of air. Now you will begin removing the screws holding the LCD in place. You'll want to also lift this LCD from the side up because the cable is attached to the same spot as the screen digitizer is. Once you have this off, you can remove the screen digitizer cable. If your bezel frame is still in one piece, you can go ahead and skip this step. Otherwise, you're going to want to place a new one on and begin removing the adhesive tape around it so that you can stick it to the frame. You will want to be careful when placing this on as there is little ridges on the bezel frame that will snap into the main frame and this will keep everything in place and let you know that you have it in the right spot. Once you have that done, you can connect your new screen digitizer cable and then you can begin to attach your LCD cable as well. And once you do this, you will want to test to make sure that your screen works properly before sealing it. You can screw the LCD in place. Go ahead and place the screen digitizer down and power on the iPad and go ahead and give it a test. You'll want to test it for any dead spots by taking one of the icons and dragging it along the screen. Now once you have determined that your digitizer works, you can remove the adhesive stickers and carefully place it back on the screen. You want to make sure this is lined up before you press it down completely. And once this is done, you can go ahead and power it on and begin to use your iPad. Now we have finished the new screen digitizer replacement. Be sure to follow us and like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.